I saw Screwdriver last night. It is such an incredible film. For you, uh, what was it like stepping into this character? Because there's a lot that goes on with this character. Yes. Um, gosh, it was definitely a ride. Um, I, from start to finish, I felt like I, I got pretty invested early on. Um, I didn't have very much time before the callback to read the full script, but I was given the full script. And so with that one read through, I was just like so diligent with, you know, just getting a perspective to present to them for the callbacks. And um, that's actually where a lot of um, the organic things that that made up Emily um, kind of began. And Cairo and I would go often go back to the audition or the callbacks phase to even kind of swoop in and pick up some of those things because you just never know as an actor um, gifted with two like amazing co-stars <laughs> um and so I feel like getting into Emily was worked in tandem with Charlie getting into Robert and Millie getting into Melissa and it was this beautiful thing happened um actually right after the callback um we were all walking out to our car we had done like one final read together we had no idea what was going to happen but um and I was already kind of in the process of like dropping it, putting it out of my mind, being like, you never know. This was my very first audition in a room in LA. And so I was just trying to like prepare myself, but Charlie looks at us and was like, so see you at rehearsals, right? And, um, and it kind of just, it was an amazing acknowledgement of the chemistry that the three of us shared. And so I really would not be here and I could not have tapped into the Emily that I was able to tap into without um, Charlie and Millie truly and without Cairo, of course, um, writing such an eloquent character, such a complicated um, young woman. And it was a lot, but it was really fun. And we made it very fun on set so that it wasn't too, um, heavy outside of you know between action and cut uh yeah it, it seems like such a wonderful story being told uh well it's, it's You're such actually an amazing the first story. person i've ever talked to who like got to see screwdriver that wasn't like yeah. my mom <laughs> oh I, I watched it last night and it was fantastic i couldn't stop watching it i was like okay i'll start today i'll finish it in the morning because it was very late at night uh -huh. It just grabs you. Uh, was that the way you felt reading the script? Because it feels like such an intense project. You know what's so interesting is actually in reading the script, especially that first time before the callback, I don't know what, it was like Emily inhabited me already because there was so much going on in that script that I was truly unaware of until maybe we would actually film it. And I would be like, oh, is, is that what's happening? I felt so like naive, which I think worked so beautifully with Emily, but whenever you're given such a, such a detailed and thoughtful and thought provoking script, um, it's not, I mean, truly, even in, until I saw the edit, I was still, I mean, just finding so many new things. I really wish we could go back and shoot it a second time even. <laughs> Because I feel like I've learned so much through this process that um, it was just, it was amazing. <laughs> Even with the story being so great, uh, director Cairo, he, he's so passionate about this project. Uh, what was the best part about working with somebody like that? I think the best part of working with Cairo specifically um, was that the man who helped write the script um, and who was directing the ship held that passion. And from day one, um, even in the audition process, I knew that he knew what, would, what was going on. <laughs> he cared about what was going on and that I could trust him implicitly with this process and come to him with any questions um, and that we would just work through it. This entire cast and crew is, I have to say, was one of the most collaborative, collaborative and um, lovely like human experiences to be around. We didn't have much, but 
we all had each other and that factor in that trust that Cairo um, led with. I really often think this, as goes the director, so goes the movie. And that happens every single day on set as well, as goes the director, so goes set. So for him to be so rock solid and for him to believe so much and for him to trust himself with this, with such an undertaking at such a young age, just coming right out and doing a feature film like this, um, it was the thing that held us all together um, as it should be. It's amazing. I, I hope he gets everything good that comes from this because he really deserves it. Definitely. And uh, I just spoke with him a little bit ago and he talked about how you guys as a cast came together and even uh, during the off takes, you guys would, would be socializing. Uh, what is it about uh, such an open set like that that just makes you feel like part of part of like the family I guess it makes you feel like a family theme. yes yes we absolutely we felt like like a family it really helped I think the fact that we had one set we were in one house some of us some of the crew was literally living in this house um so and to do very long days um where you're just like waking up getting out of bed and then going to the same place, you know, for three and a half weeks, it makes you really depend on, as we can all, I'm sure, uh, empathize with in the pandemic, it really makes you depend upon the people within the house. And um, the trust that was there um, between us only happened because we were able to connect outside of the scenes um, and honestly, I feel like the only way we could have gotten through some of those scenes is by being so kind and loving with each other um, outside of the scenes because it's so heavy and so much to deal with. And I don't know how, honestly, whenever I watched it back, I was shocked because I guess I was so self-absorbed in the process. <laughs> But watching it back, I was absolutely blown away by Charlie and Millie and how they were able to even witness what I was going through, like as humans, but as their characters and, and just never lose it. It was phenomenal. Um, but they are very similar to me in that, that the work is between action and cut. So we didn't have a lot of, um, I guess ones would call it method acting, where as soon as Cairo would yell cut, we were all Charlie, Millie, and Anna Claire again. And it, it really helped with something like this that is so psychological. Uh, it really um, helped, I know it helped me in uh, distinguishing reality from the fantasy, especially as we like lived every single day in the same place, um, which helped me get there you know, psychologically <laughs> to <laughs> not escape. Um, but uh, yes, our, our collaboration together, I think we, I am because we are, um, and, and I'm very proud of everybody. Awesome. Uh, watching the movie, there's some kind of uncomfortable scenes in there. For you, was there ever any uncomfort in playing some of these scenes out? The, you know, I have to say it was actually more uncomfortable watching it <laughs> than performing it. Um, I will say that there, I'm going to bring it back to this trust on set. I <laughs> feel like a banner for trust. Um, but <laughs> I think there was this amazing kind of breakdown that happened where we had very experienced filmmakers and our producers, Chris and Rand, who were kind of the old guard, if you will, and have been in this business. They have a lot of wisdom and experience, but the deference and respect that they gave to those of us coming up, someone like Cairo, was um, pretty phenomenal to witness. And then I felt very similar with Charlie and Millie. They had been in this industry and particularly in Los Angeles um, for a while. So I was so thankful to have someone who knew what was going on, had the wisdom to pass on. And, um, and it was those, those kinds of, that kind of trust and the trust that I had um, been given to play this role 
and the trust that we developed. Um, Cairo, I think, made a very specific point to um, make sure that Charlie and I specifically um, had a concrete relationship. And it worked out so well that we're still amazing friends today. But I think in trusting Charlie, because some of my most uncomfortable scenes, I have to say, are, are honestly probably with, with Charlie. Um, and the male, female, I know there's been a lot of um, talk about what to do in the industry with, with these kind of more intimate and vulnerable scenes, um, especially with regards to um, men and women. And I have to say, the, the men in this film made me so comfortable and like we're a stand-up example of how a young woman, especially so new to this, um, how it should go. Honestly, I felt very um, guarded. I knew that they had my back. I knew that if I said stop at any point, we'd stop. I knew that if, you know, if everything was kind of left to my decision, especially in those very tender moments, um, you could tell everybody was just there for me in those moments, which was just so lovely. Um, the collaborative environment and the safe space that we were able to create and craft on set was instrumental, I think, in performing some of these more psychologically tortured um, scenes. Definitely. And uh, this is premiering at Dances with Films in the Chinese theater. How do you feel about that? Oh my gosh, I can't even describe to you. I. I truly wake up every single day with just immense gratitude that, because I've honestly, I have done some bit parts and little films I have been trying for so long. And so just even booking this was so huge. It's just icing on the cake that I get to have my very first premiere where I'm kind of the star of the show in such a historic um, place for film and television. I'm, I'm truly honored. and. Um, and so, so grateful for this opportunity. Awesome. Well, congratulations. You did fantastic on this and Thank enjoy you. Dances with Films. Thank you so much. I, I'm so excited. I get out there on Thursday, so I'm excited to meet some more directors and see what's going on. Awesome. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You as well.